Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. Quick question for you today. Are you sick and tired of all the gurus out there, the self-improvement gurus that are telling you all the lies, telling you that if you just follow their ABC program, if you do your, these steps, one, two, three, you're going to see X, Y, Z results. Are you sick and tired of that? Well, if so, today I've got a simple truth that could absolutely set you free in your quest to determine what your self-improvement path is uh, moving forward in your life. So if that's something that you're looking forward to, to really gain some traction in your life, to really improve in all areas of life, then this episode is going to be for you. So stay tuned. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right. Welcome back. My name is Randy Wilson. I am the host of the Rich Mind Podcast. And my entire purpose for the podcast and for you being here today is I'm trying to help you see things in your life that you may not even realize are even true. So I've been on this personal development slash self-improvement journey for many multiple years. It's been well over a decade and I discover things all the time. And one thing I am, uh, I'm tired of personally is all of the cookie cutter. If you do these X, Y, Z things, you're going to get these ABC results and vice versa, right? If, if it's all cookie cutter, right? And here's the secret. Here's the truth that I want to share with you today is that we are all individuals. We are all different. And so your journey in self-improvement is going to be different than my journey in self-improvement. And so to go to a supposed guru that's going to help you figure out what your life is all about, you know, determine what your stories have been, what your self-sabotage patterns are, what your subconscious mind is controlling you to do or to not even do, right? So that's where it becomes difficult because each one of us are individual in our own past and how we have interpreted the things that have happened around us. And because of that fact, because of that truth, it's very difficult to be shown a cookie cutter approach to increase and improve your your own life, right? Through self-improvement. So think about this, right? There's all kinds of conferences and there's all kinds of places you can go. Obviously, there's a lot of books. There's a lot of things that you can go see and do to quote unquote, improve yourself, right? Why is it that so many people attend those things, those events, even get the books, go to the courses, right? You're buying the courses. Why is it that so many people do those things, but they don't necessarily see the results? And it's because they weren't prepared or that XYZ cookie cutter program that the promoter was talking about and selling to them didn't fit where they are in their personal development journey. So here's what I want you to do today. And this is what I've done for myself. You need to take a self-assessment of where you are in your journey. Where is it that you want to go? You need to begin asking yourself certain questions. You need to get yourself in a place where you can really think about. You need to really begin to think about how you feel when you get triggered by a circumstance or by uh, somebody or something in your life. You need to be able to get to the point in your self-improvement journey where you can recognize that that is happening. And then once you recognize it is happening, take different actions to be able to improve yourself in that moment. That's where it's difficult when you're working through a, a program that may not be specifically designed for you and what you're working on or what you're working towards. So be careful when you have people telling you that you need to go do X, Y, Z, that you need to go out and perform certain things in certain ways. One thing I don't want to do even on, on this podcast, what I'm trying to do even with what I'm sharing with you today is that it's not a one size fits all. You need to determine what is going to be the best fit for you. I would encourage you, this is one thing that help, helped me and this continues to help me every single day is the process of journaling, getting your ideas, getting your thoughts out onto paper has been one of the most impactful things for me. So when I get triggered, so for example, um, I'll just give you a little bit of an example for myself. So the last month or so, 
you know, let's even say the last couple of weeks, I've had three to four different instances with different individuals that have triggered me, that have triggered some negative self-sabotage patterns within myself that had I not been aware of those patterns, right, based on the work and the self-improvement that I've done on myself, I wouldn't have recognized them. And one way that I did recognize them was in the journaling process that I do every single morning. I take myself through a a process that it's mine. It's not anybody else's. No one told me what I should do as far as when I'm journaling. I have a, a small notepad. I pull it out. I date the notepad or date the page. And I just begin writing what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, why I think I'm feeling those certain ways, trying to determine what those triggers were why and trying to get to the the final destination as far as like where did it where did that exactly come from what was that trigger that set me off down a negative spiral that if i don't get a hold of it quickly i'm going to it's going to be bad it's going to be a bad situation for me it's going to be a bad situation for my family and so it's taken me many many years to discover this for myself but what i will tell you is that yes i've picked up a lot of great ideas from these gurus out there teaching different self-improvement techniques, going through their classes, going through their programs. One thing that they have done for me is they've challenged the way I think or challenged the way I perceive the world or challenged the way I look at things. That's one great thing about these programs and about these people. You can follow them here on YouTube. I'm sure you can listen to their podcast. You can join their programs. As I mentioned, you can go to their, their seminars or webinars, right? They're fantastic. You can gather a lot of basic information, right? Basic meaning it's just general and it might not be specific to you. But what I would encourage you to do is take that information and start to internalize what that information means to you. You need to really dig deep and figure out what your patterns are. What is your subconscious keeping you from doing or not doing based on some pattern recognition from yourself in your own personal self-improvement? So hopefully you found this message valuable today. The idea is that if you continue down the path of looking for somebody or something with this magic bullet of this program of self-improvement, that if you follow this XYZ program, you're going to get these fantastic results. I'm here to tell you that through my experience, that isn't necessarily the the truth. That's That's not the truth at all. But what I have discovered through my own personal development journey and my own process of self-improvement is that the harder I work on really getting close to my own thoughts, getting close to where my thoughts are even coming from, going back as far as I possibly can in my in my memory, right, to my childhood, to the different circumstances that I had in school, to different friends, to girlfriends, to you name it. I, I played sports back in high school, so some of it comes from that sometimes. But the point is, is that I dig as deep as I possibly can to find out where that self-sabotage pattern comes from. So that way today, when I get triggered with with a thought or with an idea or with a lack limiting belief in myself, I can go back as far as I possibly can to determine where that came from. And then I can question it and decide, is this true or is this not true? And once again, I go through the journaling process that helps me a lot to get these ideas out of my mind out on paper, and then I can analyze them and decide if I want them to still be in control of my life or if I want to take control of them moving forward. So give that a shot. Stop looking for somebody out there to help you figure out your own self-improvement journey. Now, I'm not telling you you can't find encouragement, and I appreciate you being here on this podcast as well. Obviously, I want to try to share as many of my own personal stories as I possibly can. What I've discovered is if I can hear someone tell a story share a message about, you know, some of the challenges they're going through. If I can hear those things and I can relate to those individuals. And that's really what I want to do here on this podcast. I don't necessarily want to give you one, two, three step techniques and try this and try that other than the process of journaling. I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that that is a, it's a simple process, but it's such a powerful process. And I would encourage you to start that as quickly as you possibly can. So go out there, have a fantastic day. I appreciate you showing up here and giving me your attention in this episode. So if you find this message valuable, if you know of somebody else out there that is looking for 
uh, content such as mine. I'm really trying to inspire you to really go deep, deep into your subconscious mind. And if you know if somebody out there is missing or needing such type ideas, fighting some limiting beliefs, anything like that, if you wouldn't mind sharing this message with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're checking this, this out on YouTube, if you want to smash that like button and hit subscribe to the channel, I will be coming back with content similar to this. I've got a bunch of fantastic guests coming up in the near future as well that you can really keep your eye out for that really might have the opportunity. Those might be the exact things you're needing to move the needle to help you in this self-improvement process and that I'm super excited for. It's they, We've had a very good conversation so far, and I'm really excited to bring those messages to you uh, when those when those dates launch. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. Make sure you don't miss any of those episodes. So I appreciate you being here. So go out there, have a fantastic day. I look forward to bringing back the next guest and the next episode to you again very soon. Until then, thank you now. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. And remember, your external world is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So focus every day on that internal battle and win within. Until next time, my friends.